Behind every purpose lies inspiration. And behind inspiration is a story, positive or negative. When I was little, I had a different perception of death. I thought that life ended when someone became too old. I never realized the sick could get better or worse. Not until that day. That day, I perceived there are seconds in life that can be destructive, but those same seconds can also construct years of ambition and purpose. This is my purpose, my inspiration, my story, and this piece of paper is my construction. Can a simple item of darkness enlighten a path with motivation? Can it be the origin of a journey? The root that allows seeds to rise? I chose medicine, hoping it would illuminate this darkness. But can medicine be the answer? Only time will tell as I venture into it. A new system had been introduced, and with it came new challenges and methods. PBL, for instance. In its sessions, we visualized patients as if they were real, scrutinized their information critically as if it were true, and searched beyond it independently, but learned how to merge our independencies resulting in shared knowledge that could not be gathered alone. Teamwork and unity were the pillars to progress. Tutorials were also a major part. What better way to ensure the permanence of received theoretical knowledge than to apply and convey it in realistic scenarios? In tutorials, we concentrated information making it easier to remember. We will think like doctors, cooperate like brothers, and be looked upon as beacons of hope. As for the essence of the new system, early clinical exposure, we would go to the hospital, the aspiration dream, and destination of every medical student, where our education came to life, where medicine becomes an emission of light to the ill, where doctors absorb that light to give hope and instill. Through these visits, we would put our practical knowledge into action and embrace the hospital's atmosphere. For a few hours, we would be the doctors we will one day become for a lifetime.
There will inevitably come times of non-success, times of misfortune and sorrow, as this is only the nature of any journey. But these moments can either be the spices of accomplishment or the ingredients to an abyss, something I did not fathom at the time. Am I even up for it? I thought to myself. Is it even worth it? I doubted the decision I made. How could a monstrous condition that deprived my heart of its life as I watched with utter powerlessness be the reason behind my choice? Undoubtedly, I told myself, there will be no medicine without maladies as without doctors will be no remedies, and I wanted to be the deliverer of those remedies, to prevent the tragedies that can be prevented. Every success story must have falls and obstacles throughout it. I would overcome them, they would not overcome me. and I would craft my success story undefeated. An honoring end to a prideful path, the path that led me to where I stand, that made my reflection as lustrous as it is. My past conjured my present and predicted my future. Three intervals, one epilogue. This item, once of darkness, but now of brightness, did indeed enlighten my path with motivation. Originate my journey, allow my seeds to rise and prosper, and from the harvest come new seeds for another path. It was once said, every end is a new beginning. So why medicine? To me, because it is a journey of inspiration, dedication, and philanthropy. Though some consider pursuing it insanity, Others see it as humanity, and I am grateful to be the latter.